What's up, guys? I want to give you a little testimonial on using this drain auger. Um, I basically had a floor drain clog up. I was doing some pressure washing in my basement, and I had some people helping me, and I think somebody uh, ended up, they let a small rag go down the drain. I didn't know about it for a week. Next thing I know, my sewer started backing up into my basement. It was just, it didn't get to where it was a mess yet, but it was going to be if I didn't do something about it immediately. So, I saw, uh, I already have a good set of Ryobi tools and batteries, so I thought, man, I'll, I'll go out and get the Ryobi, uh, the small drain auger. It's like $69. Um, well, I go out to Home Depot. They don't have the small model. They only have the $149 model. This is the P4002. That's a little more than I want to spend on a, on a drain auger. Um, I thought at that point, I thought, well, I'll just get the $45 one that you hook a drill to. Well, it only said it would do up to an inch and a half pipe. This claims it'll do up to two inch. So I thought, well, I really need this fixed today. I don't want to call a plumber. So I better just drop the money and get one of these and see what I can do. Uh, so I picked this thing up. It comes with, it doesn't come with a battery or a charger or anything, but it does come with an AC adapter. So if you have electric, but you don't have uh, Ryobi, batteries and chargers you can still use it I uh, got it it was practically completely pre-assembled except for the little spring piece on the front I had to put that on um, at first I, I was in a hurry guys I'll be honest I, I didn't really know how the controls worked I ended up getting this whole 25 foot cable completely out of the drum um, after a while I finally took a deep breath and uh, got it back in the drum. If you put the cable in there, just keep feeding it while you have it in reverse. It'll go back in, uh, which was a huge help to me because I thought after that cable came out of that drum that I was going to be in a world of mess. Uh, but I wasn't. It, it took it right back in. So I put this down my clean out. I went a couple different directions with it. I pop it into neutral. I let it run for a while. I uh, took it out to the end of my pipe. Brought it in that side, uh, put it all the way out 25 feet worth into my drain, ran it on neutral for a while, and uh, let me tell you, this thing is powerful. Uh, it ended up pulling the rag out of there, which was my obvious problem. Pulled a bunch of other stuff out of there. It was a really fun job, but I really noticed the power for this thing when I put it. Uh, I put it on the ground because I was trying to. I had I had it kind of in a knot, and I was trying to get it reeled back in. And let me tell you, do not put this wire on the ground because it will just, as soon as you start reeling it, it will take up the grass and the earth and everything. Uh, so it, it, it's doing a lot more than you realize it's doing when it's rotating. So, I, I mean, for me, already having batteries and stuff, this thing was a great buy. It's $149. I, pro I didn't have to call a plumber, which could have cost me five, six, $700. I already had batteries. Um, the battery powers it for a good long time. It's got these legs, so you can literally just set it on your floor and just go with it. Um, my shirt got caught up in this a few times, and uh, it's, it's powerful, let me tell you. But anyway, I've been a big fan of Ryobi tools lately. This new line of stuff they have, um, I haven't had a problem with any of it. It's all worked flawlessly. Um, it's affordable. So I would recommend this Ryobi P4002 drain auger to anybody having drain issues up to 2 inch. Thanks, guys.